For many, many years, I've had quite a strong interest in photography, and to make a few quid on the side, I've often taken portfolio and publicity photographs for friends or colleagues. Some of the ladies I've photographed have gone on to be glamour models, and of those that did, the ones that were the most successful were the ones with the biggest smile. This makes me feel a whole lot better about us men, and is backed up by research that says for maximum man appeal, girls should smile into the camera, and for a little extra oomph, make a flirty, playful or come-and-get-me face. The same research, however, says that us guys should do the exact opposite. We should look moodily off into the distance, as though we're pondering the next line of a sonnet we're composing. None of the research actually explains why this should be the case. All we have are numbers, and when the analysts drew up their charts and graphs, on average, the moody guys and the smiley girls did a lot better than the smiley guys and the moody girls, at least in terms of the number of messages they got. Now, this doesn't mean that you're doomed should you happen to be a girl with a bunch of moody pictures to pick from. Or, if, like me, you're a guy who can't help grinning like a maniac into the camera, but if you can, pick at least a couple of photos following the advice above. Interestingly, making a flirty face away from the camera at someone or something else other than the photographer is bad, bad, bad for both sexes. Intriguing, isn't it? If you have any photos like that, discard them now. From above or below? Most people are familiar with the classic MySpace photo, where the subject of the photograph has taken a self-portrait by holding their camera at arm's length slightly above their head and looking up. What these people probably didn't realise, but what photographers have known for years, is that this is a significantly more flattering angle than simply taking a photo straight on, or worse, from below. Now, I know what you're thinking, but it has nothing to do with cleavage. This angle works just as well for guys and for ladies who cover up. It's just a better angle, and consequently the numbers show that it dramatically increases your chances of getting contacted. If you haven't got a MySpace-style photo, why not grab your camera or phone, step into a well-lit room and take one now? To cover up or not? If you're a fella and blessed with nice abs, then despite numerous pieces of advice to the contrary, taking your shirt off turns out to be the second most effective thing you can do to boost your attractiveness in your photos. This is rather gutting to those of us whose shirtless days are either long gone or never arrived. Likewise, what little research we have proves that showing a degree of cleavage significantly increases the number of contacts you'll get. Now, there's a shock. What's more interesting, however, is that the cleavage shot is actually more powerful the older you get, and allows the older lady to level the playing field with her younger rivals, and to completely leave behind ladies of a similar age who have chosen to cover up. Of course, Whilst displaying a little flesh increases the amount of attention you get, it might not necessarily be the attention that you want. To get anything more interesting than single-worded messages from all and sundry, you'll be needing something more in your photos than a nice chest. The activity shot. Smiling, or not, unbuttoning your top, or holding the camera above your head are all great strategies, but they're nowhere near as powerful as the activity shot. If you're photographed doing something, then not only will it get you a better quality of message, but potentially it'll get you more of them. Now, why would that be? Well, chiefly, it gives people viewing your photos something to comment on, but from a photographer's point of view, I suspect that pictures like this feel less posed and more genuine. There's a sense that we're seeing the real person. From this perspective, when selecting your profile pictures, those pictures of you taken by friends and tagged on Facebook are probably a better place...